market share. So these are my three top selling. Um, these are my three uh, top prospecting strategies. Number one, expired listings. But here is what it's it's funny, right? Because you go expiring listing, and the first thing you do, you do, knock at the house and say, "Hey, I just see that you came off the market, or you you currently listed." So let's talk about expired listing no longer on the market, right? The biggest mistake agents do: knock, knock. I see you are on the market. Would you like to sell your house again? Bugger off. I've already spoken with many agents. I'm not interested. So what are you going to say different? What, what about this, Ben? Knock, knock. Hey, Ben, I see you. You've been on the market before. Did you get many offers? Oh, no, we didn't. If you get a good offer tomorrow, would you consider it? If you get a good offer tomorrow, would you consider it? That plants the seed for you then to get some details of them, leave them alone and follow up the morning after. Because trust me, that guy or that lady will go back to the house and say, an agent just asked me if you would consider a good offer if you received one. Now, that plants the seed. So that was the number one strategy, expired listings. I love that. I love how you took that, 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 that the way you phrased it, because they've probably been door knocked by multiple other agents out there. So you've just taken that different approach. I think people need to keep that script in mind. Indeed. Strategy number two expiring listings been on the market right okay so here's what you do you get a new listing in your area because of course you go on trade me you save whatever suburbs you work in and you see all the new listings now how about this how about you send them a letter as soon as the property come on the market and say hey mark congratulations for coming on the market looks like you got it under control um our um the average days on the market is 49 whatever they might be i wish you all the best now trust me you're not breaking any rules by saying that to someone that is on the market with a competitor. Now, guess what you're going to do after 48 days or whatever that is. I, I used to call it the six weeks letter. You send them another letter in the mail, say, hey, Mark, I see that you're still on the market. I hope you're having uh, some traction or whatever you, what you're going to use. The current average on the market, um, days on the market is still 48. I, I hope you can get some offers um, soon. Something on that level. Um, you send them a dollar scratch as well in the letter. Okay, so that's a six weeks letter. Now, after two weeks, so after basically eight weeks on the market, if they're still there, you don't knock them. Hey, Mark, it's Diego here. Uh, you might have seen a couple of letters in the mail. By the way, did you win anything on the dollar scratch sheet? They'll say no. You say, I'm going to give you your money back. I'm sorry about that. Create a bit of humor, right? And then you use these words. And here is the script. So listen up. Here is the script you're going to be using when you don't knock somebody that has been on the market for two months. Mark, Look, it's a challenging market, but properties are still selling. And I truly believe that a property like yours should have been sold by now because on average, properties sell within six weeks. And now we are eight weeks down the line. Now, I've got to use my word carefully. I've got to use my word carefully because you're currently under agency agreement with da, 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 da. But what I'm going to ask you, Mark, is before you extend your listing with your agent, can you give me 15 minutes to show you what I can do differently? Because I believe I can get you sold without you spending too much more money on marketing. Um, so can we have 15 minutes in a week or so before you decide what to do in terms of your agency agreement? Now, I've been taken to the REA by an agent complaining about that. The REA say I did absolutely nothing wrong because I did not interfere with the listing, but I'm definitely going to be giving a, an opinion. So I am 100% comfortable that if you do this, even if somebody complained, you have done nothing wrong. The only thing you've got to be mindful is that if you sign an agent's agreement, your agent's agreement needs to be the date after the previous one expires. You're breaking no rules. You're going to upset a few agents, but that be it. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Strategy number, sorry, please. One, just one thing on the dollar stretch. Can you explain a little bit more behind this, maybe the psychology or the, or the, the, the reasoning behind that? Because I'm sure people want to know, why the dollar stretch is? It's a hook. It's just a little hook because you send them to them in a letter and then you want to have a follow-up point when you go and see them in two weeks saying, did you win anything on the dollar scratchy? Because then hopefully they remember you from sending the previous two letters because they probably got a few other door knocks, but nobody else sent them a dollar scratchy. And then I always pull the job. Did you win? No. Sorry about that. I'll give you your money back. Now, if they don't laugh there, Ben, you know you've got a tough one. And perhaps you might want to step back. But you play that by hair and you treat everyone the same, but treat them differently. Yeah, yeah it makes total sense. And so number three, Diego, what's number three? Number three is uh, private listings. My first sale that I ever got was a private lister. So here's the script. Hey, Mark, 